Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we have actually something uh, really basic. I, I got a few comments on this and I thought I would just put together a really quick video. Um, it's going to take probably a few minutes, but uh, I, I just wanted to say that I have been very busy. That's probably why you guys are wondering uh, my prolonged absence, but I've been actually uh, making lots of different tutorial ideas and fulfilling a lot of your guys' comments. I haven't really been able to uh, completely look at them just because uh, you guys are, you know, you're there's a lot of comments now. Um, but today we're going to be just doing a simple, like, triggerized uh, uh, sound effect. So... Basically, when you uh, step on a certain area, it will play a sound. Um, so we set up a really basic third-person camera here. Um, if you guys want to know how to do this, in the top right of the screen, uh, there should be a link to a uh, six types of camera tutorial, and it will show you exactly how to do this. If we go actually into edit, uh, you can see that it's really basic. But let's go ahead and just make the simple uh, triggerized um you know, sound effect. So what's going to happen is when our person uh, steps in a certain area, uh, we want a sound effect to play. So all we have to do is go to objects, um, sensors, and we're going to grab our touch sensor. Um, so if we go into the touch center uh, sensor settings, we can go ahead and check for what uh, all we have to do is check for our person. Uh, this works with any type of uh, it works with the car, it works with the UFO, um, and it works honestly with any of these as, as long as you, uh, you know, check for, for them, basically. Um, and then if we go ahead and exit out of that, uh, with the output, we can actually go ahead and just connect a sound effect to it. So if we go to output, play sound, and then play sound effect, then it should play any sound effect that we give it. So if we go ahead and just connect the play to the touching count, um, if you go into the settings, you can, of course, change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it of what it is right now. And if we go ahead and look in the game, we should go ahead and see that we have this box uh, right here. And if we step in it, uh, the sound will obviously play. And, of course, this works with any type of sound. And um, if you guys wanted to remove this white uh, outline, all you have to do is go into the uh, touch sensor and make it invisible. Um, so now if we go ahead and look in the game, uh, we don't really see the box, but of course, if we go where it is, it will play the sound. So, uh, really basic tutorial. Some of you guys, uh, again, were asking for it, but, uh, that's pretty much it of what this does. And, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. I have a lot of different tutorials coming out very soon. So, uh, stay forward to that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and, uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.